This is just a quick tutorial on how I created the menu structure for my HS Touch project designed for a mobile phone. Um, so I guess the first part I've done is I've created a, um, a main screen here. In this case, created an icon for the top left corner for the hamburger. Uh, from there, when you click on it, and uh, actions in this case, when released, um, I'll set it to show another screen on top of the current screen, being menu. So from here, menu, it's a screen that I've created. Uh, in this particular case, it's smaller, you'll see, obviously, than the main screen. And length is also smaller than that. So that's basically just the size that I want to show as the overlay. So that's the screen that pops up on top of it. Over on the right, you can set the location of where that screen goes. So in this case, I've just set it to the top left-hand corner. Now for the submenus, uh, very similar concept. Um, I'll move that there. So for the submenus here, this one's for I've called it menu camera. So in this case, when someone clicks on the cameras, then it will get the secondary menu. So again, I've kept it the same width, but smaller once again based on the number of items that are there. Uh, so for this one on the right, you'll see that the location I set as top 200, sorry, left 200, top 400, which is basically around this location here. And I, and I figured that out by kind of clicking on an item here. I could see in this case it was top 408, so I figured that's probably close enough. So 400 will have it approximately around that, that location there. 200 would have it about there in the view. So from there, what I've done is based on the selection of one of these, I can click on that. Um, again, when I set to release, it will show another screen by itself. So in this case here, it will close all the other screens and only show one screen, which in this case is one called camera driveway. So that's basically how I've set it to, to uh, go through and do each of those. Um, the other one that I've done as well is for the, one of the bigger screens, which is security, which is the motion sensors. You'll see that it's actually much bigger than the other page. Um, and what I've just used is a feature on it, which is uh, you can actually create the size of these screens greater than the size of the project. Um, so in this case, my project is 720 by 1280 in height, um, but I've created the screen at 1850 in length. So what happens when you see this on the mobile phone, it actually allows you to scroll up and down the page. I have noticed a little quirk though, however, when I scroll up and down the page, the first time I view the screen, the background uh, only uh, doesn't stretch fully, even though I've set the background to stretch, it only comes up to about where it here, here is on Garage. Um, but if I go out and come back in again for some bizarre reason, then on, it will then correctly render in the background. So I might have to log that one in Bugzilla. Um, the other items, um, I guess this has been done before a few times, just in terms of uh, the status icons, in terms of when it switches on and off. Uh, all I've got here is these two different graphics that I've created. Uh, on the left you see off and on. Um, I'll set them to status tracking to one of the devices. So in this case, it's set to uh, a kitchen switch. So based on the kitchen switch, there's not any of the status images. I've got a match value. So either zero, uh, that'll show the off switch, or in this case, 255 for the on switch. Now, I did find that depending on the type of device you use, uh, it does seem to differ. So a multi-level device um, will sometimes be 0 to 100, whereas an on-off might be 0 to 255. And sometimes that interchanges. Um, so you just need to make sure you understand what is the, the value that will be shown for your particular device for that to render correctly. Now, the only catch with uh, a device that's somewhere in between, at the moment I haven't set up uh, a catch-all for what to do if the, someone has set a multi-level device to, say, 50%. Um, but quite frankly, I can't be bothered with it at the moment. Um, these particular devices are designed just to be on-off. It's as simple as that. I, I really don't play around too much with the multi-level, even though it can. Anyway, I hope that helps. Um, at some point, I'll get around to uploading the XML file for it and the graphics which I just created for it. There's nothing too complex in here. Um, just some icons I created for uh, the heating and cooling, the hamburger menu, the on-off buttons as well. Alright, thanks very much.